were recently in Albuquerque for the Balloon Fiesta 2022. And that went on for like nine days, but we were actually there for 10 days. We stayed at Enchanted Trails RV Park for that 10 days. You know, kind of in retrospect now, I think it would have been, uh, we love that place. We've been there before and we had full hookups, plus a pool and a hot tub, which we did use. But uh, I think for the full experience, I would do it again and maybe dry camp on the field where the balloons were for three or four nights and then go over to Enchanted Trail and have that full hookup. We stayed in Albuquerque for 10 days because weather really can screw up your plans. If you plan on being there for just a long weekend, you may be rained out the whole week and it went all the way there, made all the plans for nothing. So during the fiesta, there are actually nine sessions going on. There are nine morning sessions that have a lot of events like the uh, morning glow, the opening ceremony. They had a really great drone show, um, a lot of other things in the morning. And they had five evening sessions. Um, which included uh, like the nighttime glow, they had fireworks, the drones were going again. But actually the weather this year was uh, not the greatest. And four out of the nine days, the balloons were actually grounded. And out of the five sessions that they had in the evening, every evening something was canceled. Um, they might not do the balloon glow, or but they would have the drones and the fireworks. So the weather really impacted 2022. So you might wonder, 10 days, what are you going to do? We did not go to the balloon fiesta every single day, but um, we do have two videos on our experience at the balloon fiesta, so check those out. It was amazing. And in our two previous videos, we did show how we got to the uh, balloon fiesta First by hopping on a school bus at the Cottonwood Mall, really easy, very easy. And one morning we got up super duper early. I mean, we were there by 4 a.m. and we did park and it was easy, but you gotta get there early before the crowds show up. And there is so much to do in Albuquerque. Um, we were here a few years ago and we did like the um, Petroglyph Trail. There's Old Town that you can get down to. We had some friends that went down there. And that is what this video is all about. What to do in Albuquerque. And trust me, we don't have the big full list. There are some bike trails and other things we did not do. But in this video, we're going to show you what we did do. And uh, it was a lot of fun. So hope you enjoy. Stick with us. Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta actually has 14 sessions. There's like nine morning sessions with a lot of different events going on. And there's um, five evening sessions that went on. This year, there were a lot of events canceled. And actually, out of the nine mornings when they had the mass ascension, they were the balloons were grounded. So there's a lot canceled due to weather. And this is why we really do recommend don't just book a long weekend if you can't stay longer because chances are you might have one day that doesn't work for you because of the weather. You can't control that. If there is a, a cancellation, they will give you um, a rain check. You can come back on another day, but you know, if it's the last day, you're kind of out. They do not give refunds if there are cancellations due to weather. They're a nonprofit organization. So here's what we did on one of our rainy days. Rainy day for the balloon fiesta. It kind of screws things up for them, but we tend to make the best of it. Don't feel quite as guilty when I'm sitting in my pajamas, working, showing what a man Paul is. He doesn't even know this is going to be in a video yet. But uh, it's still a labor of love for us. We do appreciate when people end up helping support us by uh, using our Amazon link and uh, you know some of the other different ways that they can help us 
and to keep it fun we do it on the rainy days so we're not compromising anything that we could be doing like uh, something fun like laundry you know no oh. Wait, we yeah, actually are doing that. We're doing that too. Oh, wait, yeah. wait. This is the secret part. Nobody's supposed to see this ending. <laughs> and on one of our gloomy off days, we treated ourselves and had dinner at the 10 3 restaurant. We're in Albuquerque and it's uh, kind of an off day for us. It was raining this morning, so we didn't go in, but we did make reservations way ahead of time to go to the Sandia Peak tramway and take the tram all the way up to the restaurant at the top. Ooh, it's quite a climb just to get up there. We did make reservations at the 103 restaurant at the top of the peak, but needed to purchase the tram ticket to get there. The tram tickets become available online only 24 hours before the day you plan to arrive because it depends upon the weather. When we tried to purchase them, they were sold out. So we called 103 restaurant and they assured us we should just show up, tell them we have reservations, purchase the tram ticket there and we would get on. So if you uh, don't get tickets for the tram but you have reservations, no worries. How are all these people going to fit in there? It looks like it holds four people. Oh yeah, any engineer watching this is thinking about rope diameters and D over D ratios and center line to center line distance between the ships. And here's our tram car coming to us and it looks like it's jam packed with folks and we're going to jam pack it on the way to our dinner appointment. I'm sorry. Time rise. Yes. Yeah. All right, me as well. <laughs> the Scandia tram is the longest aerial tram in the Americas and was the longest in the world from 1966 until being surpassed in 2010. We are going from a base elevation of over 6,500 feet to a top elevation of over 10,300 feet, hence the name of the restaurant, 103. A trip up the mountain takes about 15 minutes, and the normal operating speed is about 20 feet per second. <laughs> and as you can see, we are approaching the clouds, which is kind of cool, and yet, once we get up there, what are we going to see? The 103 restaurant has dining options in both their fine and casual dining areas. If you're interested in fine dining, reservations are needed. If you plan to just casually dine with them, then no reservations needed. Oh my gosh, we've got a perfect corner window. Wow. Yeah, not that we have much to look at. We are floating in a cloud. Even though the view wasn't much, the food was amazing. Now that is a salad. And that is coffee and that is, is a good one <laughs> and these are good friends and this is what heaven looks like it's a little bit cloudy in heaven but we still love it so you've got chopped chicken and brain hands okay. nice you want to see chopped liver <laughs> right here and with dinner done, we were racing to catch the next tram so we didn't have to wait long. Our waitress was telling us that they do shut down the tram with inclement weather, and she was actually stuck at the top one night until 1 a.m. How's your meal, Mark? Oh, forget that. I'm going to look at the engineer. Marco! All right, so we had a wonderful meal, and we're running up here to catch the tram to go down, and we just missed it. So we got, what, 
There you go. We've got about 15 minutes, something like that. Yeah. And as you can, 10 minutes, you can see it's cold. And we also heard that on New Year's Eve of 2021, a winter storm caused the emergency cable to ice up and droop, causing the tramp to stop midway down. 21 employees were stuck in the car for 12 hours until they were rescued, and everyone was fine. And this is what we could have been looking at if it wasn't so cloudy up top. It will be that beautiful view. This is my favorite view coming up. Just for you, I turned on the lights. As we were heading to the gray bus, we were given a little unexpected treat. The Balloon Fiesta fireworks. Wow, that's a much nicer picture. Yay, bonus, we get to see the fireworks. Wow, that, that's a lot closer than I thought we were to the Yes, yeah. that's what I thought too. So for other things to do on an off day, our friends Joy and Bob did a bit more exploring than we did this time. Old Town is a charming spot with its narrow streets and century-old adobe houses. There's tiny artisan shops selling jewelry, and there's a number of New Mexican eateries. And found a harvest house, which was a, an alpaca farm not too far from Albuquerque. Another great thing to do on an off day is catch up with friends. We attended a Harvest Host gathering, caught up with our friends Shane and Paul, and made new friends with Cindy and Bill. And then, before we explored the Turquoise Trail, we unfortunately had to get a windshield chip fixed on the van. It's just another part of traveling, I guess. I think. Better than I would have did. It's hard to see with the video, well, but it does look yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I'm thinking it's that one, but Correct. I don't want don't to touch, touch it, it for whatever reason. Yeah. All right, yeah. what a productive rainy day at Balloon Fiesta in Albuquerque. Yep. And now, enough business and back to exploring. One day, we decided to take the Turquoise Trail National Scenic Byway, linking Albuquerque and Santa Fe. The drive is approximately 50 miles along Highway 14. There are some breathtaking views as we drive back into history through mining towns, including Madrid. Wow. Wow. We're coming into Madrid. You're yeah. going to have to watch the movie, Wild Hogs. Yeah. Madrid is a former mining town which was reborn in the 70s and 60s as a funky art community full of galleries, shops, and historic charm. Who would have thought this little town would have all these people in it? Yeah, I'm surprised. Well, it's good. All right, it is Sunday, the last day of the Balloon Fiesta. And we decided to take a little road trip. We are on the Turquoise Trail, and right now we're actually stopping in, uh, in Madrid. It's a beautiful drive up here. We're going to stop and have a coffee. There's a lot of really cute places here. Um, very artsy community. So now that we're here, I understand where we are, but when Sue this morning woke me up, she says, well, we're going to Madrid. So I got out a suitcase, I started packing, I got my uh, passport out, and then she said, Mark, it's in the same state. And I'm like, oh, okay. Our first stop was Jezebel Studio and Gallery and Soda Fountain. It's the Soda Fountain slash coffee shop that we were looking oh, for. Work. We thought we lost you. Yeah. <laughs> then all this is way back here. Right, there's a restroom back here and I said, Whenever we get done with driving around, this is how I want to decorate with old furniture and bright colors. What an artsy place. All 
All right, Madrid, very artsy. I told Mark that we'll be back here when we get a, a house to decorate it with. And then there was Connie's photo park, which looked like a lot of fun, but we didn't stop. But you know who did? Bob and Joy. All right, this is the uh, diner in Wild Hogs movie. And it never really was a diner. It was built specifically for the movie. And when the movie was done, the film company gave the building to the owner, who brought it up to building codes, and now it's used as a gift slash souvenir shop, which has quite a selection of Wild Hogs merchandise, of course. And in the shop, they have photos of other buildings used in the movie. Told well, this building actually was the gas station in the movie. I'm telling you, this place is so artsy. Oh boy, coffee and donuts. We came across this place that had live music and looked like a good stop for lunch, but it was a little loud, so we opted for the place across the street. It looked cozy inside, but the weather was so nice, we sat outside. And these are just some of the things we did, and our friends did, on our off days and rainy days. What did you do? Because we know a number of you are there. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already subscribed, we appreciate your support. Give us a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. You know, Sue, sometimes you just can't get a break. Because the real chips I want are right here. And you know what? They're a lot cheaper. <laughs>